Hey everyone, welcome to this quick walkthrough. If you've already bought the pack, I just want to say thank you. Your support helps me to keep working on new material to share with the community, so thanks again. Let's start with the DMB kick envelopes. I made a range of them because when you use a bunch of them together, you get way more interesting results. Let's see what happens when I use all the same envelope without changing any values. Notice how it lacks the texture in the tiles and the general shape of each peak in the motion. This guy is just there for triggers. I simply have it that way because it reads instantly as doing exactly that. So at a glance, I know what that one's there for. With the inverted ones, have you ever heard of side chaining in music production where the volume or gain of one channel is brought down by the gain of another channel. You'll often hear this where the kick cuts out the bass momentarily, which both creates more space for the kick and adds an extra shape to the bass. Can you see how with these slight variations in the same envelope across a couple of different layers, the rhythm pulses through the content in a way that couldn't be achieved if you were just using the same envelope multiple times. These envelopes are named very loosely. They're more like general fillers I wasn't aiming to provide you with some secret source that matches every single symbol in every single track. That would be a complete non-starter. Try using them with the triplets to create a shuffly swing polyrhythm that will generally find a place in the gaps left by the patterns we create with the other envelopes in this pack. These guys started life out on a specific job a few years ago, but I kept hold of them because of how particular they were to build and I've found more and more uses for them as time has gone on. Apply them to a clip effect and set the play type to play once and hold. In this example can you see how there are two overlapping oscillations? While you could get this with the bounce play type, with this one done for you, you can quickly delete a selection of the keyframes to flesh out something more playful in way less time than it would take for you to build that from scratch. Notice how I've layered this up with another one of a similar design and then added, that, added to that an envelope which is completely the opposite end of level of detail but still follows the same type of curvature. The loop point articulator envelopes add accent of detail at the start end or transition between loop points. It could be a shuffle in the drums, it could be a higher pitch on the synth, it could be a specific vocal sample. These types of envelopes are going to be useful all the time. I mean, literally some of these simplest envelopes I'm using over and over again. The simpler they are, the quicker they are to adapt. The AB baseline envelopes, again, the name is a bit loose. It doesn't have to be for baselines. They are based on a very simple principle of having two very characteristically different halves split 50-50. This pattern structure is actually really common in music. If anyone knows anything about any music theory, then if I say to you A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, and B, A, A, B, that's going to make some sense to you. Essentially, looking at two different sections which are different to each other and the most common ways that those are sequenced in a track. You've probably already done something like this, right, where you autopilot a group of clips, you could even get really specific with it, to create a chase. But what about making a FX chase inside one clip that you can move around, is independent of any layer transition settings or any clip autopilot settings, simply by stepping through the opacities of each effect. You can go as far as you want with this, but sticking to four effects with a total duration of 32 beats is a great place to start. You can also obviously mix and match whatever effects you want. However, I do really recommend thinking about the end result as a single effects uh, type. Whoops, for example, blurry, blocky, wavy. That way you can be more intentional with the effects you choose to layer up because you've got an end result in mind. Notice the extra clip that I've put here in red fits in really well, but it also isn't following the same pattern. You can actually see me here changing which clip properties are on display. 
and yet they are identical. They're identical in values and they're identical in envelope shapes. All I've done here is change the opacity loop durations and play directions. Hopefully I've made things clearer. If I've not, please feel free to reach out with any questions. Let me know if there's any other types of resources that you'd like. I'm thinking about putting out some generative content decks. If any of you guys would be interested in that, drop me a line. And remember to check out the Instagram page for some more playful, expressive visuals made using these resources and other ones very similar. Okay, see ya.